Welcome students. This video lecture is about transgenic plants, flavor, savor, tomato and the antisense technology used in it. Myself, Dr. Rupali Patra. So, we will see that this tomato flavor savor is a transgenic plant and as being a, uh, as being a transgenic plant, it has some superior qualities over the normal tomato plant and these are delayed ripening rose resistant and due to these two qualities the self life of the tomatoes has been increased and the most important feature is even then after all these changes the flavor of the tomato has been saved that's why the name flavor saver it is actually flavor saver So we know that a tomato very easily goes from this state, early state, to a very mature state. It ripens and normally it perishes. So if this process is delayed somewhat, then we can achieve a very good transportation for these tomatoes and also marketing and business will be successful. That's why scientists have studied various genes for the ripening of tomatoes. The most, the three most important gene responsible for ripening of tomatoes are PTOM5, PTOM6 and PTOM. And as we all know, genes are responsible for formation of mRNA and they in turn form proteins and these proteins are the or maybe the enzymes and these enzyme function various activities and results in the, uh, the manifestation of the work. So the three enzymes here responsible are phytoensynthase, polygalacturonase and ACC oxidase. We can clearly see that phytoensynthase promotes lycopene and gives the red color to the tomatoes. On the other hand, ACC oxidase catalyzes ethyl form formation. Ethylene is a, a gaseous hormone responsible for ripening of any fruit. If we clearly see that this polygalacturonase enzyme is responsible for softening of fruit wall, that we get our culprit. The, uh, the main enzyme responsible for the early maturing the bruises and proper handling of tomatoes uh, is polygalacturonase. So scientists then decided to work on to work on this. So the enzyme polygalacturonase break down poly break downs polygalacturonic acid component of the cell wall of the fruit pericard so the pericard becomes very thin and it it is easily softened not only this this also makes the fruit more prone to bruises and also decreases its self life so now what can be done for this antisense technology has been used in this flavor saver tomato the gene the pg gene for which codes for polygalacturonase they have prepared an anti pg gene so that the expression of that gene can be controlled or can be minimized so that there is a delay in tomato maturing तो यहाँ तक हमें समझ में आ गया है कि ये जो एंटीसेंस टेक्नोलॉजी है ये काम कर रहा है आपके उस जीन पर जो कि रिस्पॉन्सिबल है फ्रूट को बहुत ज़्यादा पकाने में और बहुत ज़्यादा उसके पेरिकार्ब को थिन बनाने में तो इसीलिए ऐसा एक दूसरा दूसरा जीन क्रिएट किया जा रहा है जो कि जस्ट इससे ऑपोजिट काम करे सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर वी मस्ट 
we must study first what is the process the process is deals with transcription in transcription we know dna is always double stranded and mrna is single stranded so only one of the strand of dna is responsible for making a particular mrna messenger rna for example in this diagram you can see that the above one is sense code strand and the below uh, the green one is coding strand this is this is your sense strand and this is your coding strand so the coding strand is responsible for making mrna in this diagram the green one is the coding strand and it is making this messenger uh, uh, messenger mrna and the non coding sequence that is the sense strand yes the non coding uh, strand is known as sense strand because this and this mrna look almost alike if you see only t and u places are different and rest of the sequence are same next the normal pg coded gene is isolated and sequenced here as i told you earlier that the green one is the pg gene that is the responsible for polygalactuuronase enzyme this gene has been isolated and in lab they form antigen antigen antisense gene actually it is antisense gene in lab it is made so that we can make an antisense mrna here you can see very clearly this is what happens in plant and this is what happens in lab this one is for lab so in plant what is happening this green one is responsible and it is making sense mrna and what in lab they are doing they are extracting this green one they are making the red one and from that that antisense gene they are preparing this antisense mrna so these two mrna are just opposite to each other one in plant and one in lab so in plant you can see they are preparing and this mrna is being formed and in lab they are just they are taking the opposite strand which is which was not used in plant so they are just using the opposite strand and they are making an antisense mrna now when this antisense mrna has been created uh, back to this the gene has been created the gene is cloned in a bacterial plasmid this is a this is a plasmid gene and it has been created in a bacterial plasmid and it is being cloned and after being cloning it is transferred to the plant now the modified the genetically modified toma some uh, tomato plant that is the flavor saver tomato plant has both the types of genes the normal as well as the antisense so they bear the normal gene that will produce polygalactuuronase and they will also have the antisense pg gene which will produce antisense mrna so what happens in the same cell plant cell they have the both they have the dna for polygalactuuronase and they have the antisense gene so what is happening mrna this is mrna this is messenger mrna so poly pg mrna is also being produced and antisense mrna for pg is also being produced and if you look carefully then you will see that these two this mrna and this mrna are complementary to each other a can pair with u u can pair with a a can pair with u u can pair with a g can pair with c c can pair with g again again c can pair with g and likewise 
so they can form complementary strand one of the sense strand produced by the plant and another antisense that has been inserted into the plant and this duplex results and this is a rna hybrid normally rna is in single stranded form but here it is an rna hybrid a duplex form due to this duplex formation the pg gene responsible for the enzyme polygalacturonase cannot be expressed or if expressed it is expressed in a very low amount and that's why it results in delay in ripening of the fruit so there is a quick revision and note making for my students so you here you can see this is the this is the normal pg dna and it forms pg mrna or the sense mrna next pg gene is isolated and sequenced in lab and it forms anti pg anti sense pg gene and this anti sense pg gene is constructed and it can make mrna next the gene next the pg gene here the pg antisense gene is transferred to a bacterial plasmid it should be a bacterial plasmid for cloning and then it is transferred to the plant and this plant becomes transgenic flavor saver tomato plant now the transgenic flavor saver tomato plant is ready with both the genes one gene responsible for the pg production and one gene is antisense so the pg production will form the sense mrna and the antisense pg gene will form antisense mrna after that the opposite rna is paired to form a duplex or hybrid and as a result the polygalacturonase enzyme will be not formed because the mrna has been checked so here are the details about this flavor saver tomato it was developed in 1994 by calgen and it was the first food to get license for human consumption what led to the failure was in experience of the company calgen it was a very new a company and it could not help itself uh, growing and shipping tomatoes that's why the project failed but the project was very very fruitful and it must be it is very promising and it must be carried over in near, near future also so thank you